Okay, class, welcome to Sniffy. So this is Sniffy, a virtual rat. Uh, Sniffy is in a pretty standard operant chamber here. Just to orient you to an operant chamber, which is uh, one of the sort of scientific um, apparatuses uh, frequently used for studying behavior and, and training, uh, typically in pigeons and, and rats. Uh, there's a little bar press here. So we'll be talking about especially in the operant sections a lot about lever pressing. So that is just simply the rat comes and presses on here. You can see if I press, I can deliver food that goes down to a hopper at the bottom where Sniffy can eat. There's a little lick spout that Sniffy can drink. And then as well as a, uh, a little light above that can be turned on and or off. So what we're gonna do with Sniffy here is design a classical conditioning experiment to show you guys a little bit about how it works. So I'm going to uh, set a simple experiment where there are uh, two minute intervals between trials. We're gonna present 50 trials of a particular pairing. Uh, Cause right now I'm using Sniffy Light. Uh, I really only have the options to present a light stimulus uh, and then either pair it with an unconditioned stimulus of a shock. And then um, obviously food could be another option um, or some other type of unconditioned stimulus. Uh, but for a sniffy light, uh, shock is sort of the only available option. Uh, in rodents, the typical response that you get with a, or an unconditioned response to uh, a foot shock is going to be a freezing response. So a conditioned response is going to be a typical freeze response where they just sort of lock up and um, don't move for a period of time. So we'll go ahead and uh, run this experiment. Uh, what I want to do is run this first, and then I'm going to add a second stage of stage two. It's going to be a similar two minute period of time. Also 50 trials, but I'm not going to present the unconditioned stimulus. So by presenting the light, but not the unconditioned stimulus, what we should expect to see here would be extinction. So we're going to run this. So during this period of time, Sniffy is sort of working, but it you can see that the bottom has the uh, time lapse and it's going very, very fast. When we show Sniffy, we're back into real time. So we can kind of see what Sniffy is doing uh, in the chamber, which is sort of grooming, looking around, doing other sort of rodent things. Gonna go ahead and speed up time. So now the light is on. We can see that Sniffy is doing a little bit of movement, a little bit of conditioned freezing. And that last little delivery was the delivery of the shock. We will speed up some time. While we're doing that, I'm gonna switch over here to show the conditioned strength or the conditioned responding strength. So here is the light. Um, we don't have the other options of the tone or the bell, but you can see that there is gaining of conditioned responding to the light itself with time. So it's increasing here as we get through trials, and you can see that it's starting to approach or reach a particular asymptote. So at a particular asymptote is going to be where it levels off and reaches its maximum. ahead and try and catch Sniffy doing another trial. The light is on. And you can see more of this sort of freezing periods. These are all condition responding of freezing. More freezing, a little bit of grooming, more freezing. and then the shock delivered. So we're getting substantially more freezing than what we saw previously. 
Now we'll go ahead and isolate sniffing. We have 40 trials remaining. Now what we can see here is that we have substantially increased the condition responding across the first couple of trials. But now that we are uh, reaching um, you know, more trials, we're uh, in the 20 something trials now, uh, you can see that there's becoming a, a peaking or a leveling off of the increased conditioning strength. So the amount of conditioning strength that we get here uh, or this asymptotic level is going to be the sort of maximum amount of unconditioned responding or potential conditioned responding that we would get to the unconditioned stimulus itself. So we've reached that asymptotic level of sort of the maximum amount of freezing that you can expect to get. And what you can see here is that despite all of these additional trials, we're not going to be substantially increasing conditioned responding. We've reached that asymptotic level and it will stay there as we continue to run these additional trials. So as you can see, again, we're still basically leveled off. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is catch Sniffy one more time so we can see what that looks like. So light is on, Sniffy's doing some grooming, but we can see a lot more freezing periods of time and the shock delivered. So now, Save you guys a little bit of time. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with a new sniffy. Two minutes, we're gonna do 10 trials. And then we'll have a new stage, stage two, where we do extinction for 10 trials. So just like what we saw before, we are increasing in condition strength with the pairing of the uh, light presentation with the shock presentation. It's we're at trial uh, four now. Trial five, you can see that we're starting to peak and reach an asymptotic level. Trial three, two, one, and then the last trial of training. And now we're in the second phase, and now we're not presenting the shock. So here we're just presenting the light stimulus. And what we can see is that the condition strength is going to be slightly decreasing here, indicating that extinction is starting to occur. So as trials continue on, we're going to anticipate that things will decrease and decline uh, as we move along. So one prediction to potentially make now is, will we get extinction within these initial 10 trials which is basically the same number of conditioning trials that we provided to Sniffy, do you think that we would essentially go all the way back down to zero levels of conditioned responding uh, by giving extinction sessions for the same length of period of time as we gave the training sessions? Let's wait and see.
right, four more trials. Not two. Then we'll try and catch Sniffy for this last trial of extinction. Here's the light. And as you can see, we have very different behavior than what we saw before. Relatively a little bit of freezing there, some more freezing but substantially more movement and interaction during the period of time, rooming. So we're still getting that freezing behavior to a lesser degree, indicating that we have extinction of that condition responding. And now the light has turned off. So if you predicted that extinction would not completely, I guess if you will, erase all of the learning that occurred before, even if the extinction is for the same number of trials, then you are correct. We still do have condition responding going on here. That's our quick little demo of sniffing and we'll move on to the next slide.